For part three of this video, we're going to show you how to make the cross braces that are going to lock these components together so that the stand will stay together. So um, what we're going to start by doing is we're going to right click on the two left and right sides and we're going to ground each of those. And that's just going to lock them in place so that they can no longer move. Then we're going to create a sketch and we're going to put it on the middle or on the base between these two on the XY plane I believe it is and we're going to create just a rectangle sketch and so I'm just going to start it anywhere and drag it out and we're going to dimension this so we're going to make the dimension here uh, 10 and we're going to make the dimension this way 66. Now I did some pre-calculations just to figure out what the overall dimension of this was so you can just follow along. The second thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually just uncheck these light bulbs which will just hide those other side pieces from view because they just kind of get in our way at this point. So we've got our rectangle to work with. The first thing we're going to do is put a center line down here so that we can mirror some components. So we're going to select the line tool and as you bring the line tool along the top edge you'll get this X with the triangle which means we found the center of that line. So we're going to drag that line down, hit escape to let go of the tool. We're going to grab the line, right click on it and put this to a construction line. So what you'll notice is it's now a dotted line. That means it's something we can reference, it's just not part of the actual object. Next we're just going to create a rectangle for the slot. and again do that anywhere and now we're going to add some dimensions to this so this one is going to be tab depth and the width of this is going to be material thickness then we want to set the distance from the edge of this to the center we want this to be the stand width which we determined was 50 divided by 2 because it's halfway and so that should set that at 25. Next we're going to just mirror that square on the other side. So we're going to go into our sketch, we're going to go down to mirror, we're going to select the three lines that we want to mirror, there they are, and then we're going to select the mirror line and select that and select OK. And so we've got this image mirrored. We're going to stop the sketch and we're going to extrude. So we're going to grab this and pull this up and because we are dealing with the thickness of the material here we're going to go material thickness and select OK. Now we're going to add a bit of a fillet to the corners of this just to make it a little bit more interesting and a nicer shape. So we're going to add a fillet to here and here and let's say I grab these two and I pull this in and I'm going to set this at maybe three millimeters. Now to grab these other two, if you've already kind of selected, if you hold the control button down, you can grab these other two corners and when you let go it will automatically grab those and if let's say we want to make this four, we can do that and get just kind of a nice rounding to it and we're going to select OK. So now this body here is the cross brace. So we are going to create a component from this body and there it is. We're going to open this component up and we're going to rename this, um, I'm just going to call it Stand Brace. And there we go. Once we recheck the light bulbs on the two corner pieces, we can now see that there's the Stand Brace. We need to now put this into place. To do that, we're going to go into the Assemble tab and we're going to select the Joint Tool. So from here, we want to use a rigid joint and we're going to select our two components. Now where you select the tool is going to be really important. So we want to zoom in on this tab and right in the center we want to select that as our component one. Then we're going to flip our object, our diagram over and we want this to go right into the center of this tab hole right there and you'll see it moves into place and locks it and we're going to select OK and now you'll see that that is now snapped perfectly into place. Now we want to do two more of these and because we don't want to have to um, do it again we're just going to copy that same component and we're going to paste that same component and you'll see 
the arrows allow us then to pull our copy down and out of the way. We can rotate it around if we want to. Can be handy. Okay. And then we're going to select OK. And now we're going to constrain this to here. So again, we're going to use that joint command. And we're going to zoom right in on the center of this tab. Make sure we grab the center. And we're going to go grab our second component, in which case is going to be the bottom tab, again in the dead center of this tab here. And there's our second one, and we select OK. And we're going to make one more component of this. So I think if I go grab brace 2, we'll just copy that and paste it. And let's pull brace 2 up. Okay, and we'll just roll brace 2 a little bit this way. Again, you don't really have to do this, but we'll select OK. And last time through, we're going to quickly do another rigid connection on the inside of this piece right here. And our second component now, because I picked the other side, will be the very center of this tab here. And we'll select OK. And there you have all the parts that you need to create the laser cut laptop stand. In the next video, what I'm going to do is show you how to export those and then bring them into an illustrator so that you can laser those pieces out.